This is Dan with Flowrite Plumbing. I'm gonna show you an example of a home that's previously had the water lines vandalized. I guess it was vacant. And uh, <laughs> they ripped them all out. But anyway, this is a perfect example of what a cheap plumbing job will get you uh, and or somebody who doesn't take pride in their work. It's not so much the materials, it's the way it was installed, but take a look. Three quarter inch PEX water line coming in. One support, two support. You can see this cluster of lines here. Shark pipe fittings, fine, no support at the fitting. I mean, it's coming out at an angle, which shark bites are great, but <clears throat> and here's what kills me. This is the water line, as is condition. Strung over and through. Just hanging, mind you. Couple supports. I mean, this is piped like the underneath of a trailer home would be. You can see where you've had all kinds of previous water damage from a bathroom up above. They redid the sanitary piping, which appears to be done okay, I assume, without seeing behind the walls. Um, must have poured back around the floor. You can see the old water lines that they just left. Then they joined on to what the thieves or somebody didn't get, I guess. Uh, going to, I believe, kitchens over that way. Um, laundry sink lines. Hell, even the even the Cincinnati Bell cable guy. They must have unmounted it off the wall to paint down here to flip it. I'll tell you, <clears throat> the water damage line, here's an old vent left for the tub. They replaced what they could get to. Yet they had the wall open up above. Didn't replace any of that. Put new water lines up and left the old vent pipe in when they could have easily just replaced it. They put new board in for the shower. Look at the, <laughs> I don't even know if I would have left the daggone beam there. You can see they sistered up these old ones because of the water damage that had occurred. Put a new one in. You've got a main support beam here that's pretty much gone. Uh, a lot of damage around where that toilet was leaking. Just, a real, there's another, there's a kitchen sink. God help us, what, what's above here? And they just ran the water lines out of the board and over. Over to the stub downs that likely, yeah. I don't know. If here's two lines here that are capped off and liable to be live, they're just going nowhere. Kitchen sink piping, at least there's a clean out on it. Floor drains half painted over. I just wonder if this. 
Jim here had a home inspector or maybe they, look at the dryer vent. I know it's just hanging there, but I mean, I don't know. Here's old water lines left going somewhere, coming from somewhere. Just a real quick job. I mean, the plumbing works, water heater works, but if this was ever inspected by a home inspector for the purchaser, the buyer, I have my doubts. I mean, if they did, they, they should uh, be forewarned, know that this is a flip, but liably somebody's buying it for renting out. I don't even know that I would rent it out at this case for the condition it's in. People are liable to use this water line as uh, coat hangers maybe for their laundry. I can see them at this right here. You could hang a couple hangers on here. Maybe support your clothes. Uh, there's a good one there. That's a clothesline. Oh! We don't want to run into that. This is all live water lines. So, and I'm here after all this to fix a leak, a little drip out of this flared fitting where the water service comes in. Because I guess whoever they had as their plumber was not skilled enough or didn't want to mess with the leak. So anyway, um, just one of the things, I mean, I've seen things like this before. I've had no hand in it, just so you know, but uh, this befuddles me, boggles my mind. But hey, the floor is painted. Looks brand new, nice and gray, concrete gray. So uh, this is, Move in condition, folks. I'd show you the rest of the house, but I don't want to give it all away. So, anyway, beware. If you see anything like this, you're purchasing a home, walk out of it. Because if you see piping and things that have done been done in this nature, you can bet your sweet patootie that there's stuff behind the walls that you don't even want to imagine. Uh, literally put in the wrong way, I'm sure. So stay away from flipped houses. Uh, they may be good enough. If you're just renting one, knock yourself out. It's on the landlord, I guess. But uh, that's it. Thought I'd share. Thanks for watching. Bye now.